right, so today we'll be discussing malathion and the importance of its selective toxicity. Malathion is an organophosphate insecticide. Organophosphate refers to the type of insecticide, and we'll review that mode of action later. Malathion is a non-systemic insecticide, meaning that it does not affect the entire body. Malathion is considered to be one of the safest insecticides available because of its selective toxicity in insects versus mammals. It is used for a variety of purposes such as plant protection, control of vector-borne diseases and public health, and control of head lice in humans. We will be focusing on the animal husbandry use of controlling ectoparasites on cattle, sheep, and poultry. You will recall from class that due to its stem, the word ectoparasite refers to the parasites living on the surface of the animal. So as I mentioned, malathion is an organophosphate insecticide. So this picture here is going to help us understand what an organophosphate does. If you look to the left in the green, we have the normal acetylcholine signaling at a synapse. So to orient you, we have our presynaptic neuron here, our postsynaptic neuron here, and this is our synapse between the two. So what we have is acetylcholine, these black boxes here, are going to be released from the first neuron and they're gonna to bind to their receptor on the second neuron after they cross the synapse. And when they bind to the receptor, we get a signal transmitted, represented here by this blue squiggle line. And so that signal would be something such as the contraction of a muscle. In the middle here in the yellow, we have a diagram depicting the role of acetylcholine esterase, the enzyme. So the same process happens as before where you have the acetylcholine cross the synapse and bind to its receptor. But here we have acetylcholine esterase, the star which comes, picks up the acetylcholine and chews it up, removing it from the receptor. And because of that, it cancels the signal. You can see here we have no more of the blue squiggly line. So this is important, say if you wanna contract your arm up, but you don't wanna keep contracting your arm. You wanna cancel the signal. Finally, in the diagram on the right, we have the role of organophosphates. So the same process as before with the acetylcholine binding to its receptor and initiating a signal. Here though, you can see that the acetylcholine esterase enzyme we need to cancel the signal is taken up by the organophosphate pesticide, or OP in this diagram, which is the red triangle. So because the organophosphate binds to acetylcholine esterase, the signal keeps going and so this would be like continually contracting your arm. So it's not something you really want. As mentioned, malathion has selective toxicity, making it relatively safe. This means that although it is highly toxic to insects, it has a low toxicity in mammals. For example, the oral lethal dose in rats is 885 milligrams per kilogram, and the dermal LD50 in rabbits is 4,000 milligrams per kilogram. Recall that LD50 refers to the dose where 50% of the treated animals die. So why are mammals not as affected by this insecticide? When most insecticides are extremely dangerous to mammals? Well, this mainly has to do with the toxic form of malathion, malaoxone. Malathion is bioactivated by oxidative desulfuration to malaoxone. Malaoxone is what inhibits acetylcholine esterase. In this figure, you can see the desulfurization, where we have our sulfur group being replaced um, with an oxygen, in this case scenario, here in malaoxone. Here's your new oxygen sulfur group that was replaced. Malathion can also be biodegraded in the body to different products. Detoxifying enzymes, such as carboxyl esterases, degrade malathion into mono and diacid metabolites, you can see here your mono, malathion monocarboxylic acids, and malathion dicarboxylic acids. And it can also undergo oxidative demethylation here, where you have a uh, methyl group leaving. The forms of malathion that these degradation methods produce are much less toxic than malaoxone. If you look here in this table, you can see the different metabolites we discussed. Malaoxone, desmethyl malathion, malathion monocarboxylic acid, and malathion dicarboxylic acid, with their relative potency factors for acetylcholine esterase inhibition. As you can see, 
the potency factor for maloxone is much more toxic than the other forms. So how does all this explain the selective toxicity? The main difference is that the metabolism between insects and mammals differs. Mammals form less maloxone and have detoxifying enzymes, which rapidly degrade the malathion. Think of the monocarboxylic acid and the dicarboxylic acid pathways. In contrast, insects must rely on the main pathway of degradation and therefore produce a greater quantity of maloxone. For these metabolic reasons, malathion is much more toxic to insects. To conclude, here are some other interesting properties of malathion. It is not a teratogen, which as we discussed in class, means that it will not negatively affect the fetus or embryo. Furthermore, if the malathion is not pure, it will be much more toxic. An impure form of malathion, called isomalathion, is much more toxic to mammals because it not only inhibits acetylcholine esterase, but it also inhibits their carboxyl esterases, which, if you remember as we discussed, are the degradative enzymes that break malathion down into its less toxic forms. In summary, the organophosphate insecticide malathion exhibits selective toxicity due to the metabolic differences between insects and mammals. These are my sources, and thank you for your attention.